Doug, you guys shot 63%, had a season high in points. Uh, what allowed you guys to be so successful on offense tonight? Um, really just playing as a team, uh, making that extra pass and getting the ball moving. Um, and playing inside out, I think that um, that helps really boost our shot percentage up and get us extra points. Noah, is that kind of ideally how you guys would like to play, the way you guys play tonight offensively, inside, outside, kind of getting balance from the whole five starters? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, whenever we can get the ball inside to Doug or Matt, you know, it spreads so much things. It spreads everything out. And they might have to come double every now and then, just open things up. Uh, whenever we can get it inside, it's a good thing. I think you guys shot 70% on two pointers, Doug. I mean, did you just not find a lot of resistance inside? How, how did you guys, did you feel like it was a good matchup for you guys inside against them? Uh, I guess so. I mean, but we, we knew that um, these, the two bigs tonight were really good. They were really good players. So I think we took that as a challenge and went at them tonight. Noah, that's two pretty big games for you in a row individually. Do you feel like you're kind of getting more comfortable here? I mean, I know you're just a, a freshman, but it seems like you're starting to figure some, some things out out there. Um, yeah, I would say, yeah, I'm getting more comfortable, you know, just learning how to play, uh, you know, like play the right way at this level and like figure out how to get open, where, where you're going to get your shots, you know, where you got to go. And um, shout out to Doug and Matt all season. I mean, like it's not hard when they're leaving me to double and I just got to stand there and shoot a three. So if we didn't have these guys, you know, it'd be a lot harder. Shout out to them for sure. What was the biggest adjustment that you would think you you've had to would say you've had to make from early in the season to now making that adjustment from high school to college? Um, you know, just always being like ready. You can't take any like breaks when you're out there, like time off, like rest. You just gotta always be ready to shoot, be ready to d up, do stuff like that. Just can't take a break. Doug, you guys were up, I think, 18 at halftime and they scored 10 points in about 30 seconds. It seemed like it, it, you guys called the timeout, regrouped. But it seemed like every time they made a run, you guys countered. What did you talk about as far as what to do to, to answer every run that they made against you guys? Really just to compete and um, just get back on to get back on how we were in the first half. We knew they were going to come in the second half and make a couple shots. I mean, that's the basketball is a game of run. So we knew that we just had to get back, get back on track and um, close them out. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody. It's certainly good to be back here in Frost Arena in front of our loyal fans. Um, uh, what a basketball game. Really, really proud of our guys' effort against, a, uh, I think, one of the better teams in the Summit League. Coach Mills does a tremendous job there. And, um, but our guys' effort tonight was fantastic. Uh, when you look at the stat sheet and you see 19 assists, very, very proud of how selfless our guys are and how hard they competed. So with that, I'll open it up to any questions. What was the game plan offensively? Well, you know, offensively, Zim, our, our team goes through the post. And we need to get post touches more times than not. When we get post touches, our shooting percentages go up all over the floor. And um, I think our guys are understanding that more and more. Um, I think you've noticed, and, and we've certainly noticed, that our shooting percentages have gone up in the last three weeks that we've been playing. And it's because we're taking better shots. We have a little bit more purpose offensively. We're making sure we get paint touches. And, and that doesn't matter if it's through Doug or through Matt or whoever it is. Alex got a bunch of post touches in Omaha. And it's not necessarily always to, to have that person score, but we kind of initiate our offense through that. What's, uh, what's led to Noah Friedel? I mean, I, I think maybe you're kind of alluding to it with, with that, but the last two games, obviously really playing well offensively too. Yeah, certainly statistically, he's been phenomenal, you know, shooting it very well, taking better shots, like you said, kind of alluding to that. Um, but probably the most important thing is he's just competing his tail off um, on both ends of the floor. And, um, you know, just super proud of Noah, how we've talked about this before, how he's responded to a little bit of adversity. And um, he's used it as a learning experience. And when you do that, you're pretty proud of those young men and certainly proud of him. Was he maybe waiting for you to give him a little nudge to be a little bit more aggressive? It seemed like early in the season, even though you were playing him a lot, at times it seemed like he was maybe like, well, I'm the freshman, I'll wait my turn, so to speak. And, and now it seems like he's being more, more assertive with the ball. Yeah, he's certainly, he's certainly a, maybe a little more aggressive, I think, is kind of what you're saying offensively and looking for a shot a little bit more. Um, I, I, don't, I, I honestly think it's all of it in his mentality. You um, didn't have to encourage it? That was kind of what I was asking. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. I've always encouraged uh, Noah to be aggressive, and um, he's a good player. He's not just a shooter. He can put the ball on the floor and be a playmaker for us as well. Um, but I think just I think his maturity is what's really helped him these last three weeks. And, and uh, sometimes when you have to face a little adversity, you have to look yourself in the mirror 
And uh, this, this isn't about Noah Friedel. This isn't about any one Doug Wilson. This isn't about any one person on our team. And I think, not that Noah was a selfish player before, but I think he realizes that more and more. Uh, second half, they scored 10 points in about 10 seconds, it seemed like. Uh, but it seemed like every time tonight they would make a run, you immediately answered. You had to kind of like the way that, I mean, they never gave up, but every time they made that run, your guys answered. That's, that's the beauty of this sport. It's a game of runs, and you know that, that you knew they were going to come out firing, and, and you knew Coach Mills was going get, to get them prepared, make a few adjustments, make them more aggressive, make sure they get a few paint touches early and try to break our backs on the glass. And that's exactly what happened. And, and to our kids' credit, they responded. And like you said, I, I thought our kids did a tremendous job of not panicking, not collapsing, but, but just let's just take a deep breath. We're all going to be OK. And um, stayed aggressive against their press. And, and um, were able to get good touches and then good shots again. What's the uh, injury situation with Brandon and Trey? Yeah, you know, Trey, Trey's certainly going to be out a little bit longer than Brandon. Trey, um, you know, had a, a foot injury, and he's, he's probably going to miss certainly at least till the end of this month, maybe even a little bit more. Um, and then we'll see how he recovers after that and how, you know, he heals up and how fast he's able to get back. Where Brandon, I'm hoping to get him back a little bit sooner. You know, I, he, he's, he's not going to play Saturday more than likely, but uh, – um, after that, it's probably up in the air and see how he's feeling, his, his knee's feeling it. But uh, it's feeling better and better every day, but it's certainly something where I'm not going to put him in a position where, where something bad can happen. Are you comfortable continuing to play seven, eight-man rotation this early in the season? Well, I'm not sure if I mean I'm not sure if it's comfortable is the right word. I think um, if that's what we have to do, that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm not sure that's what we have to do. I think we can get you know some guys a few more minutes here and there and and, and see where they can help us. And but that's an earned thing, and and um, we're going to put ourselves in the best position to win each game. So it's kind of a game-to-game -game situation, Jim. How we like our matchups. Um, I thought Mimsy did come in and give us a good spark a little bit. He brings a little bit of energy. He had a nice play dump off to Matt uh, for a little assist. So um, we'll certainly try to continue to give other guys opportunities as well. Who's the new guy on the bench? Yeah, Willie Mafum. It's good to have him on campus. He, um, is, uh, he signed with us in November, but he graduated in, uh, just graduated this December and decided to come to campus early. And uh, you can start practicing with us. He's not eligible to play this year or anything like that. But for him to get onto campus and get accustomed to college classes, the schedule, and things like that, and, and, and also our program, how, how a college practice works. Um, Willie's a tremendous kid. I know all of the Jackrabbit fans are going to love him. So does this count as a redshirt year? Yeah, this, the, well, this will be a redshirt year for MZM. It'll yep. be a redshirt for yep. next year. Yep, that's exactly right. Rewinding a little bit, obviously you talked about wanting to play through the post. Did you think you were going to have the kind of success you did uh, scoring in the paint tonight? You shot, I think, 70-some percent and scored 60 points in the paint against two of the better big men in the league. Yeah, I, I'm not sure it was. I, I, I knew it was going to be like that. Um, but, you know, Doug and Matt are big-time weapons down there. And, you know, teams have to make a tough choice. And especially if we are continue to shoot the basketball the way we're shooting the basketball, if, if are, are you going to – guard him with just one defender or are you going to bring a, a secondary defender over and if you do that you kind of got to pick your poison a little bit because both of those guys are really good passers out of the post as well and and certainly willing passers each of them had four assists tonight as well as as, as you know a big part of those 60 points in the paint so um, just really proud of how they finished and, and how consistent our guys and how persistent our guys were just kept kept throwing that ball inside